new journal and guide. Subscribe today. We have a lot of students and young people who are rising in public administration and want to develop in their careers. We have a very distinguished panel. What suggestions would you have for those young people that are here today that want to progress in public administration, uh, they want to enhance their skill set in order to develop and take on these very critical public policy issues? That's a very good question. Um, volunteer. But at the undergraduate level, I would suggest some sort of an area that you really, really like. I tell kids, to, I tell kids now, I'm, I'm a lawyer. I used, to, when, when, I used to tell, kids would come to me and say, what should I major in? I used to tell them, oh, probably English or philosophy or math. You know, and I said English because, you know, whether you know the answer or not, you can write your way through it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to say math because you probably have somewhat of an analytical mind. You can think through this thing, whether you're right or wrong or right, you're going to come up with a pretty good answer. They say philosophy because, you know, Lawyers do think, believe it or not. They, they think. Now they ask me, what should I major in? And I say, whatever you want. Whatever makes, whatever at the undergraduate level you like. I don't care if it's music. I don't care if it's biology. I don't care what it is. Because the profession is so diverse now. And it's so specialized that you need to have that background. One of the best interns I ever had was a music major from the University of Florida. She was a piano major. She was a piano major. And she is, now she is she's somewhere in New York as an entertainment lawyer because she understood that concept. And I tell kids that all the time. And I would say the same thing for public administration, quite frankly, because it's such a diverse area. You know, everybody doesn't know anything about environmental science. You know, everybody doesn't know anything about, you know, uh, public works or whatever it takes. But I would suggest that and then at the, obviously you need to go to the next level and get you uh, get your master's of public administration. I would suggest you get a master's of public administration. So then you can understand administration. That would be my suggestion. Then the, the, the other thing is volunteer. Because there's no better teacher than coming to my office and following me around and seeing what I'm doing and how I can do it. And the, the, the good thing about what I've done, and I'm very proud of this, a lot of my aides have gone on to do other things. One is now in the House of Representatives. One's got a PhD, and she's teaching at Appalachian State in, in public administration. So, and I, I, tell my, I tell my aides, I tell folks that work for me, look, I don't, you know, you, you do well. And if you want to leave and go, but you got to stay with me at least four years before you do that, then do it. Because I would, if I didn't hire you and you weren't good, you know, you would probably stay with me forever because you couldn't do anything else. You couldn't do any better. But all of my folks that have come to me, uh, my A's, and I've had several of them over the years, they've done well, they're smart. I always try and hire people smarter than I am, quite frankly. I really do, if they're smart. And if I can't handle them, then that's my problem. But I, I really try and hire those guys. So that would be my suggestion. Do whatever you want to do at the undergraduate level. Feel good about it. Make good grades because right now, in order to get in graduate school, especially in law school, you better have a good grades at the undergraduate level. I've had too many kids come to me and say, you know, I want to go to law school. I said, what's your GPA? They'll say it's about 2.9. I said, but they'll say, but in the last two years it was 3.7. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> This is a four-year curriculum, and not a two-year <laughs> You know, they're not going to look at what you did in the last two years. So if you goof off those first two years and you don't get it, forget about it. Anyway, that would be my suggestion. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment.